what's going on everybody welcome back to the youtube channel in today's video we have my personal college football top 12 poll this is my poll this is no one else's poll this is i feel the top 12 teams that deserve to be in this area at the beginning of the season so we're dropping this poll today in today's video uh let's get into it so number one we have alabama the crimson tide there's no other explanation really for this pick to have them at number one. They are by far the best team in the country on paper. We have Bryce Young as the quarterback, former Heisman winner. Fell short in the national championship game, but they're going to be there again. Uh, I can promise you that most likely. I'd say 90% chance they do. They get in Jameer Gibbs, Gibbs at running back. The running back room is really good. Wide receiver, they have a lot of talent there. They have Georgia transfer that came in there. A few other guys have really good talent. Always do at that wide. They always do at that wide receiver position. Offensive line's looking better than I even think last year. They got a new O line coach, so pretty happy about that. If you look into you know the message boards or Twitter of Alabama, they're pretty happy about how they think the O-line is going to be compared to last year because they believe that was a major weakness. So it'll be interesting to to see the Crimson Tide this year, uh, especially that offensive line. I think it's going to be really good. Defensively, where do you even start? You got Battle at safety. You got Will Anderson, obviously. So much talent, NFL talent on that defense. They're going to be really good. I thought they were pretty good at times last year. I think cornerback that kind of let them down. But they're going to be good this year. I can promise you that. And number two, we have Ohio State. Ohio State just makes too much sense to be number two. They came off of a big win in the bowl game last year. CJ Shroud looks amazing. Especially towards the end of the year last year. They bring back some good receivers. They have some good receivers. Just like Alabama, they will always have those. They could throw a lot of guys in there and be really, really solid. They have Trayvon Henderson. Like I said, with the receivers, they got Jack Smith, Jimbo, Julia, Julian Fleming. I mean, so many guys. And Mecca, Abuka, so many guys in that receiving core. It's pretty, it's pretty crazy. They have, on defense, they, got brought, they brought in a new defensive coordinator, um, which I think would be really good uh, from Oklahoma State. So, you know, and they're projected to have a really good year. They project their defense to be better um, than the previous year, and that's their biggest hopeful and into the year. At number three, we have the Georgia Bulldogs, the former national champions. What a team they had last year. What a run they had. Really good football team. You know, bringing back Stetson Bennett, who may get a little bit more criticism than he should. I mean, he is a a winning type quarterback he may not have the most talent the most nfl ready guy in the world but they're really good they bring a lot back on uh, offense defensively uh, they lose a lot to the nfl but they recruited so well they can plug and play a lot of guys and they're gonna be good they've still got nolan smith uh Killian Ringo, so many guys on that defensive side of the ball that it's gonna be good they're gonna be good on that defensive side of the ball Next, we have at number four, this is going to be completing my playoff, is Utah. The Utes make my top four list because I think of what they did last year was really good. You know, winning the Pac-12, pushing Ohio State, really good stuff by Utah. I, I believe that they will win the Pac-12. I believe they are a very good team. Um, probably one of the more underrated teams. I know people have said that, and I know it's kind of the old phase now, but... The, I still think people don't talk about them in the playoff picture as much as they should be because they're a very good team. They bring back Cam Rising as a QB. They got Thomas at running back who they're, they're you know, bringing them back as well. They're really good uh, offensively and defensively. They lose like Devin Lloyd, but I think they can plug and play just like Georgia. I know the youths don't recruit like Georgia, but they, they develop well there, and I think they can get some more guys on on that type of level they're gonna be really good and number five we have the clemson tigers 
I think Clemson's gonna have a back, you know, a bounce back year. I really do. You know, losing two games last year, having a 10 win season, which is still really good on a down year. Let's be honest. We gotta see what we see from DJ Uli on the way. Um, gotta see if you know K Club Nick. If DJ doesn't get the the job done, if K can come in and do something. All these things we have to see. I like their team a lot. Their defense is really good, like always. Offensively, they just have a question mark, and we'll have to see how good they are. But man, if they put it all together. Clemson's a top four team as well. You know, it's between them and Utah for me. So this is kind of maybe a surprising, you know, spot for the Michigan Wolverines at number six. I really like this team this year. I know I, I like last year's team. They lose a lot. But, you know, they're a team that's recruited decently, and I think they can get really good defensive players out there this year. I think they're going to be really good on defense defensive side of the ball again, even though losing, um, you know, Aiden Hutchins and a few other defensive guys. I understand that, but I think they're going to be really good. Uh, offensively, I think they're a really good offense. I think they're a really good offense last year. I think it kind of went under their radar, but watch out for the Wolverines. I, I think they could have a really good year. And number seven went Oklahoma. Obviously, a lot of turnover, uh, losing their head coach in Lincoln Riley last year, bringing in Brent Venables, the defensive coordinator from Clemson. All those things are nice. Um, he, did really well in the transfer portal, doing really well in recruiting, put together their top 10 class in like a month or so. Really good stuff by by Brent so far from that, you know, for that program. But that's that's not what we're kind of looking at. We're kind of looking at, like, we have to examine how good they're going to be. And I think they'll be the number seven team in the country. Um, you know, I think they are that good of a football team. I think they're going to be a physical football team. I think their defense is going to be better offensively. I think people looked at, you know, a few lost pieces for them in the transfer portal as them getting derailed offensively. They still have a lot of talent on the offensive side of the ball. Just guys you haven't seen. And, you know, I think they're going to be really good this year. At number eight, we had Notre Dame. In the AP poll, Notre Dame is a really high football team. I mean, people are betting on them to win a lot of games and be really good. I mean, I think I have them at number five in the AP pool, which I would not go that far with Notre Dame and Marcus Freeman in his first year. That's going to be a tough job to replicate and show that, man, you know, we can, we can do that. I mean, they have Ohio State this week, but, man, it's going to be a tough task to be a top 10 team, I think, for them this year. I think there's still a decent spot, maybe even a little lower. Uh, I like them at number eight for right now. At number nine, we have Baylor. Baylor, former Big 12 champions last year, being Oklahoma State in a close game. I like what they bring back on the D-line and defensively. I know they lose a few things offensively. Uh, it was Thornton and, you know, they don't have Bohannon, but they, you know, they have another guy coming in or who played in the Big 12 Championship game that looked even better than Bo Hannon. I like this roster a lot. I think Dave Miranda is a guy that can make the best out of his players. I think he'll do it there. I think Baylor's going to be a physical football team, just like they were last year. Are they going to be as good as last year? I think so. I think they'll be around the same. I think Baylor's going to be a really good football team. At number 10, we have Oklahoma State. Now, Oklahoma State, they lose a lot defensively. They lose their defensive coordinator. But let me tell you something about Oklahoma State. They are a sneaky good team again this year. They lose a lot on their defense side of the ball, but they have some guys over there. Some guys you haven't heard of on the national level, but Oklahoma State has some sneaky good defensive players over there, and they bring back a lot on offense. Obviously, you got Spencer Sanders at QB. You hope for maybe a little tiny jump this year to make things even better because I think their offense has a way of being better. But from what Mike Gundy has said in the interviews, you know, through training camp and spring, the defense is really competitive. They're out there, you know, competing with the offenses. That's a good thing for, you know, Oklahoma State's offense or a bad thing for their defense. We'll have to see. But I think they'll be another good team, a contender in the Big 12. I think there's three teams that are going to be really close to it, so it'll be interesting to see the Big 12 this year. At number 11, we have Arkansas, who takes on Cincinnati this week. 
Very good sneaky team. Arkansas, obviously, a fan favorite around college football. A lot of college football people love Arkansas because what Sam Pittman has done, he has built a culture. He's built something that is very tough to not not win by. I mean, he has built a physical football team that is demanding, that gets a lot out of his players. Sam Pittman is a great football coach, and they deserve to be at number 11. Bringing back some guys, too, like KJ Jefferson. I know they lose Traylon Burks, but they got J.D. Hayes Wood. They replaced a lot of stuff. They were good in the transit portal. I like them at number 11. At number 12, we have Michigan State. Just makes too much sense for Michigan State to be here. They had a good team last year. Mel Tucker has done a tremendous job, obviously. Has a big contract. He has a lot to fulfill. But so far at Michigan State, he has been successful. Kind of like Baylor. You know, those teams are kind of similar. I really like this Michigan State team to be really good this year. I know they lose Kenneth Walker, who's their best player. But, man, I think Michigan State could be really good at number 12. So I have some honorable missions. I'm not going to deep dive, but I'll say a few things. Um, the first honorable mention is Houston. Houston, really good football team and should win the conference most likely, either them or Cincinnati. You know, you would think, you know, they have a, the best shot since, you know, they kind of bring back a lot of people. Miami, Miami, I think he's on the come up. I like what Mario Cristobal has done at Miami so far. I think they deserve to be in this honorable mention. USC, obviously U, USC has some holes in their team, but they're going to be a good offense. We know that defensively probably not good, but they're going to bring a lot on the offensive side of the ball that will win them games. I feel like they could definitely be in close to this top 12 range. Kentucky, I think Kentucky could have been a top 12 team easily. Really thought about putting them in there. Really good football team. Uh, Mark Stoos has done a tremendous job. I like them a lot. I, you know, they're projected to finish second in in the uh, East, I believe. So, SEC East. So, that's really cool. It's really good what that program has become. And Cincinnati is my last honorable we'll mention. They obviously lose Desmond Ritter, um, you know, Sauce Gardner, Kobe Bryant, all these guys on defense side of the ball offensively. But... It'll be interesting to see if Luke Fickle can plug and play, kind of like how we talked with Baylor, um, you know, Utah, uh, you know, guys like that, Michigan. It'll be interesting to see if he can do that to make this team good. I know they got talent. They have high power five, you know, conference talent they do. They're a really good team. Luke Fickle has done a tremendous job there. I like them a lot. I think I like Houston more this year, but going to be a pretty good team as well, I think. This will be it for me. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next video. Peace.